Okay. Let's do it. You want, you don't want me to clap it up? Oh, you good. You go ahead and start. I want to clap. <laughs> ah, <laughs> um, feel it in my bones. I feel it. It's coming to clap. <laughs> ah. um, be like Kevin Hart. <laughs> We are reacting to King Vader did a opening for Jujutsu Kaisen, Ooh. which I'm like I'm a big King Vader fan. Yeah, have been for a few years. I'm a, I'm love a big his, fan of his. Stuff. Yeah, love his anime content. Like, and it's really cool to see like just the progression, both in his his style, but then also just like. The quality of the content, the quality of the edits, like yep. everything like that. When yep. I tell you I watched this video, like, so for those that know, I've watched the video and Lance has not. So Lance, yes. you're getting Lance pure and unadulterated, yeah, unadulterated reaction. I was like, sh- I was shocked. I was like, bro, they need to hire this man to do a live yeah. adaptation of this shit because this is well, we were saying fire. That, we were saying how he should have did Cowboy Bebop. He should, yeah. Because you know he this man that. looked like a better uh, looked like a better uh, Spike Spiegel than what's his face did in right. the actual show. <laughs> um, had much show. had much more swag. Yeah, um, Cho wasn't swagging. Uh, he no yeah he, he he wasn't yeah he wasn't swaggy enough. So we're gonna watch this video. Obviously, we'll we'll clip it and then. We'll have a link to it in 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 um yeah we'll drop the link in, in the, the notes uh, and everything in the notes in the but description. this 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 right here is fire so we're gonna watch this. First of all, yo, just the this beat, yeah, fire, fire, bro. <laughs> I'm like, bro, they did not need to go off this hard on yo. this beat. Oh, yo, that's hard. That's hard. <laughs> Look how good this looks. Yeah. I like the, the coloring of it. Either. Yeah. Yo, like, I'm telling you, I, this is it. L.A. Wolf is also dope. Yes. Bro. Look at what <laughs> them dancing yeah, randomly. Exactly. It's funny. I'm telling you, bro. Whoever, first of all, whoever, whoever did this remix of this theme, yes, killed it, bro. Yep. Like absolutely killed it. It was hard. And whoever was doing the videography for this also was yes, is amazing. Yeah. This- can we also just talk about the fact that King Vader literally is he just makes any character look good? Yeah, I what I yeah man. Yeah man. Look what I'm gonna say, man. I I wish this was real. Yeah. I wish this was a real I, thing. I would watch a like, live action if show. Was, of if this. they if they only did like a pilot yes. or something like that, I would or in putting on like Patreon or something yeah. like that. I, or however you can sell it, OnlyFans or something. Like <laughs> I would buy it just because <laughs> the quality of this is so. It looks how I kind of want it. It looks how I, how Cowboy Bebop looked in the images. Yeah, right. They were gonna in do, the trailers, yeah, but it, exactly. It's, de- it's delivered and it's executed much and better. I love how the fact that King Vader went from just like like him and the homies doing videos like out in the parks right to like being on netflix and yes. like netflix p- producing some of his stuff like this looks impressive bro yeah no this there, looks really there impressive was a, there was a bag behind that for yeah. sure so i'm thinking Yo. like you know you have all these live actions that suck for yes. lack of, for lack of a better word they just suck yeah, and you can have all the production teams, all the the people that you know you think like, oh, they love the content. They're gonna do a really good job of the story, like with uh, Cowboy Bebop. Like, yes, everybody was hyped for that because it looked from the trailers, it looked good. Yep, yeah. Like, and they were like, oh, well, the creators on board. Like, you know, they, everybody they did a yeah. re- kind of like a spruced up theme. Yeah, like like they remade the yeah. too for me. When they do these live adaptations, they never do anything about the theme song. Yeah. They don't update it. They don't do anything. And it's like, come, like so for them to kind of have that hip hop spin yeah. on it is like, it was dope. we're, we're going to take this, we're going to own it, and we're going to put this like in our image, shit, you know, for lack of a better phrase. And I think that like, if more live adaptations actually 
made, took like made their own direction, yeah. like as opposed to just trying to do a carbon copy of, you know, or even just you know the Cowboy Bebop approach, which is we don't really care about the original direction at all. We just gonna keep the theme song and do whatever we want to do. Yeah, and it's change like change the story. So I feel like this right here, like I said, I would definitely pay to see an episode. Oh, for sure, of that for sure. Like yeah, and that I mean the production value was awesome. Um, and I mean, he even says they got a full film out on the YouTube channel, yeah. which I haven't watched yet. But like after watching that intro, like I'm I'm so like yeah, without a doubt, I'm gonna watch it for sure. Yeah, without like, a doubt. And so like that's the thing is like I feel like so you have Netflix who's putting a lot of money behind <laughs> anime content. You've yeah. got how Hulu obviously who's been doing it for a minute, Crunchyroll, which is an anime exclusive. But then you've got Disney Plus, who obviously you now is signing up to do their own anime streaming, yes. which so is like, very interesting. It is interesting. So I'm like, you have all these companies who are putting a lot of money behind anime because they realize that anime is popular right now, and that's a, it, it, it's it's you know you get you do it right, you're going to secure the bag. Yeah. And I so think what's happening? What what's or what's kind of seem like seems like it's happening. I e um, for in you know, Cowboy Bebop, One Piece, that's gonna come out. The live adaptation, <clears throat> all the other li- live adaptations for Netflix, and even Crunchyroll, you know, and now where they fall under the whole streaming empire. Yeah. What you're seeing is like the those the rights and the licenses are starting to kind of like be a little more available yeah. for people to do stuff like that. Yeah. So I my only issue, I mean, right, this is CFA. My only issue is it's like. Give it to people like this. Like, yes, <laughs> give right. the opportunity. Give it to people to, who actually are anime fans. Yeah, and, and who are going to take it in a completely different, who are going to interpret it through their lens yeah. and take it a completely different way. And I feel like maybe this is maybe this is the answer to why, like, this is the, the, the solution to all the sucky adaptations. <laughs> it's like, hey, no, let's take it. Let's do our whole thing mean, from people who actually watch it. Yeah. Who actually are fans of it and but come from like our spaces or whatever, like, yo, let's go completely left with it. Not yeah, like I said, I think this is I, I, I don't know how far this will go, but I think stuff like this is the answer to kind of like the adaptation drought <laughs> for yeah. lack of better phrase. Right. <laughs> so yeah, man, go go show King of Vader some love on social media because without a doubt this clip is fire. Yo, so. shout out you. Peace. Thank you.